Teacher Roan, your English 2 teacher. Come and let's learn English together! Before we start our lesson today, let's have some virtual class rules. Number one, focus on the video. Number two, listen attentively. And number three, participate actively. Use the comment box if it is needed. Hello kids! How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Are you excited for our new lesson today? Me too! Our objectives Number 1 Recognize that some words mean the same or synonym. And number two, recognize that some words have opposite meaning or antonyms. Let's begin, kids! Before we go to our new lesson, let's test what you have already known. Let us identify whether the words are the same or opposite in meaning. You're just going to answer same or opposite. Let's have the first one. Pretty, beautiful. Are they the same or opposite? Type your answer in the comment box. And if your answer is same, you are correct. Next one. Girl, boy. Are they the same or opposite? Type now your answer. And the answer is opposite. If this is your answer, you are right. Next, day, night. Are they the same or opposite? Type now your answer. And the answer is opposite. Next, photo, picture. Are they the same or opposite? Type now your answer in the comment box. And the answer is same. If this is your answer, wow, you are good. And lastly, finish, done. Are they the same or opposite? Type now your answer. And the correct answer is, they are the same. On our first activity, we tested your prior knowledge about the words with the same and opposite meaning. In our lesson today, you are going to learn more about these words. So, are you ready? Let's sing together! Synonyms are words with same meaning These are the words live in harmony When I feel happy it means I'm glad 
don't make me angry, it makes me mad. I receive a present, I got a gift. I am healthy, it means I'm fit. When it is difficult, it means it's hard. I am clever, it means I'm smart. Wow, you are a great singer. Now, let's get started. Words with the same or nearly the same in meaning are called synonyms. Again, let us repeat. Words with the same or nearly the same in meaning are called synonyms. Let us spell the word synonyms. S, Y, N, O, N, Y, M, S. Now, let's have some examples. Woman. When we say woman, it means lady or girl. Next, big. It means huge or large. And lastly, happy. When we say happy, it means glad or joyful. These are some examples of synonyms. Being familiar to these words will help you in avoiding repetition of words you use in a sentence. And most of the time, the use of the words in a sentence can be your clues to determine the meaning of them. Knowing their meaning can help you identify the synonyms. Example I saw a tiny ant. It was so little that I could not see his legs. In this sentence, what do you think are the words with the same meaning or the synonyms? Hmm, can you guess the two words with the same meaning in this sentence? What are these? And these words are tiny and little. These two words have the same meaning. So, they are synonyms. Now that you have the idea about synonyms, let us try to answer this activity. Let's try this. Read the group of words. Identify the two words that are synonyms among these words. Again, you are going to identify the two words with the same meaning or the synonyms. Let's have the first group of words. Boy, nurse, man, teacher. Among these words, what are the two words that are synonyms? Type now your answer. And the synonyms here are boy and man. If these are your answers, wow, you are good! Next, morning, night, evening, rainy. What are the two words that are synonyms? Type now your answer. And the answer is night and evening. If these are your answers, very good. Next, finish, done, last, third. What are the two words that have the same meaning? Type your answer in the comment box.
And the correct answers are finished and done. If these are your answers, you are great. you got all the answers correctly, good job kids! Let's proceed with our next activity. Let's try more. Read the sentence. Identify the synonym of the underlined word in the sentence. Choose your answer inside the bubble. Number one, my mom's fruit salad is very tasty. The underlined word here is tasty. What do you think is the synonym of this word? Is it bitter, delicious, or salty? Type now your answer and be careful in your spelling. And the correct answer is delicious. When we say tasty, it means delicious. If this is your answer, you are correct. Number two, he got the right answer. Wow, this one is so easy. What do you think is the meaning of right? Is it left, wrong, or correct? Type now your answer. And the meaning of right is correct. If this is your answer, very good. Number three. I feel secure when I am with my family. What do you think is the synonym of the word secure? Is it safe, sad, or brave? Type now your answer. And the synonym of the word secure is safe. If this is your answer, you are great. Number four, watching comedy movies makes me laugh. What do you think is the meaning of the word laugh? Is it frightened, frown, or giggle? Type now your answer. And the answer is giggle. Laugh and giggle are synonyms. If this is your answer, very good. And last, our home is always neat. Hmm, what do you think is the meaning of the word neat? Is it clean, dirty, or messy? Type now your answer. And the answer is clean. When we say neat, it also means clean. If this is your answer, wow, you are awesome! Excellent kids! You really did a great job. Earlier, we discussed the words with same meaning. And these are called synonyms. If there are words that are synonyms, there are also words that are opposite in meaning. 
Now, let's learn the words that are opposite by having a game first. Guess the opposite. Guess the opposite of the word giant. Here is your clue. What do you think is the opposite of this one? Type now your answer. And the opposite of the giant is dwarf. Next, what is the opposite of graph? Here's your clue. Hmm. Type now your answer and be careful in your spelling. And the opposite of rough is smooth. If this is your answer, you are correct. Lastly, up. What do you think is the opposite of the word up? This is your clue. Type now your answer. And the opposite of the word up is down. Wow, that one is so easy. Now let's get started and know more about opposite. There are words that have opposite meaning. These words are called antonyms. Again, let us say antonyms. Let's spell the word. A N T O N Y M S. Antonyms. Let's have some examples. Big and small. These words are opposite. Another. Happy, sad. They are also opposite. And day and night. These are also opposite. So, they are Antonyms. Just like the synonyms, to identify the words that are opposite, you should familiarize yourself with the meaning of the words. Knowing the meaning of the words will help you a lot in identifying the antonyms. Pictures and sentence construction can also help you to determine antonyms. Example, my mom bought me a new pair of shoes because my old shoes are broken. In this sentence, what do you think are the words that are opposite in meaning or the antonyms? Hmm, can you guess? And the antonyms in this sentence are new and old. New and old are opposite, so they are antonyms. Now that you learned the antonyms, let us answer the following activities. Let's try this. Identify the antonym of the words on the left. Use the picture as your clue. Choose your answer inside the box. Let's have the first one. Hot. What do you think is the opposite or the antonym of the word hot? Is it sweet, cold, or dirty? Type now your answer. And the correct answer is 
cold hot cold these are antonyms next fast what do you think is the antonym or the opposite of the word fast is it slow sad or many type now your answer And the correct answer is slow, fast, slow. These are antonyms. Next, hard. What do you think is the opposite of the word hard? Is it fun, down, or soft? Type now your answer. And the answer is soft, hard, soft. These are antonyms. Good job, kids! Now, let's have the next activity. Let's try more. Read the sentence. Give the antonym of the encircled word in the sentence by filling the missing letters on the right. Let's have the first sentence. We live far from market. The encircled word is far. Here is your clue. What do you think is the antonym or the opposite of the word far? Type now your answer and be careful in your spelling. And the correct answer is near, far, near. These are antonyms. If this is your answer, you are correct. Next sentence. Riza got her hair dry. The encircled word is dry. What do you think is the antonym of this one? Here's your clue. This one is very easy. Type now your answer. And the antonym of the word dry is wet. Dry, wet. If this is your answer, you are correct. Next. Lito spread false news. The encircled word is false. What do you think is the opposite of this word? Here's your clue. Type now your answer. And the answer is true false true these are antonyms next i need to go to the market to buy some food the encircled word is go what do you think is the antonym of the word go here's your clue type now your answer And the answer is stop, go, stop. These two words are opposite. And last, my answers are all wrong. 
the encircled word is wrong. What do you think is the antonym of this word? Here's your clue. Be careful in your spelling. And the correct answer is correct. Wrong, correct. These words are antonym. If you got the correct answers, good job, kids! You have already learned the synonyms and the antonyms. Let's see if you can really recognize them. Let's do it. Read the pair of words and identify if these words are synonyms or antonyms. Again, synonyms are words with same meaning. And antonyms are words having opposite meaning. Let's have the first one. Start, finish. Are they synonyms or antonyms? Type now your answer and be careful in your spelling. And the answer is antonyms. Start and finish have opposite meaning. Next, easy, simple. Are they synonyms or antonyms? Type now your answer. And the correct answer is synonyms. The words easy and simple have the same meaning. Next, angry, mad. Are they synonyms or antonyms? Type now your answer. And the answer is synonyms. The words angry and mad have the same meaning. Next, good, bad. Are they synonyms or antonyms? Type now your answer. And the correct answer is antonyms. Good and bad have opposite meaning. Now, short, long. Are they synonyms or antonyms? Type now your answer. And the answer is antonyms because the word short and long have opposite meaning. Congratulations kids! You really did a great job! Well done! Remember, Synonyms are words that are the same or nearly the same in meaning. And antonyms are words that are opposite in meaning. 
you may now answer the activities in your module that your teacher will give. Again, I am Teacher Roan, your English 2 teacher, and here's our quote of the day. What we learn becomes a part of who we are. Till our next lesson, goodbye kids!